What's the difference between a warranty deed and a quick claim deed? You know, I get that question on a regular, pretty regular basis. You mm -hmm. know, when I say, you know, you know, people call me and say, Tom, I need to have a deed done where I'm, you know, adding my wife's name to the property or, you know, uh, giving my giving my home to my child. I go, yeah, I can do that deed for you. And they go, well, is, is, should it be a quick claim deed or a warranty deed? You know, I, don't, I generally don't bother distinguishing between the two because either one of them are going to convey title and either one of them are going to accomplish our goal. Mm -hmm. Exactly. However, you're right. That is a common question, and they say quick claim, and I, like you, correct them, and I say that we do warranty deeds. Yeah. Everything we are doing for them is a warranty deed. Yeah. And by the way, a lot of people pronounce it as quick, as in fast, mm -hmm. Q-U-I-C-K, but in right. fact, it quit. is it is quit, Q-U-I-T. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? Well, with a warranty deed, if you were to give a warranty deed to your home to somebody... And a year from now, they discover that there were liens against that home or you did not have good title at home. They could sue you because when you give a warranty deed, you are giving a warranty of good title. Mm -hmm. If you do a quick claim deed, you're not making any warranty of title. So I could do a quick claim deed to you today for the Brooklyn Bridge and you could give me $100,000 and think that you own the Brooklyn Bridge. And a year from now, when you figure out that you don't, you come back I'm and sue me. Luck. Yeah, you can't sue me because I didn't do any warranty to it. So That's right. It was a quick claim. Quick claim deed, exactly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes people will say, Tom, you know, where do we, when do you use a quick claim deed? And what I found, you know, I, a situation where there's like a boundary line dispute. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because, you know, in the the world is not a perfectly flat place. Mm -hmm. When the people do surveys, sometimes they, in Two, people's, two properties are right next to each other. Each of them have a survey, but the survey are started from different starting locations. And that means that sometimes, even with the best of intentions and everybody's best effort, right. that property lines do sometimes slightly overlap each other. Exactly. And so when neighbors are trying to figure that out, they would be giving each other quick claim deeds because they're not, you're not saying I absolutely own this. I don't really know if I own it or not, but, but whatever I do own of this sliver of piece of land between it's us, yours. I'm giving it to you. Exactly. Yes, you're right. I think another thing too, it's interesting to me is that I've had this from time to time where people then will say they want to do a quick claim versus a warranty even if they don't completely understand because they think it's cheaper oh okay. <laughs> they think automatically by doing oh. quick claim it's going to be cheaper than a warranty and they'll say but isn't a quick claim wouldn't it be cheaper oh, for me goodness. to do a quick claim okay. and i say well i it's my responsibility to do what's right for you yeah exactly <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> So that anyway, it just made me think of when you were saying that because I've had that from time to time as well. Hey, while we're on that topic, uh, if you look at a deed, whether it's a warranty deed or a quick claim deed, you're going to look at, as a layman. You're going to look at that deed and go, "Oh, this is so easy. I can figure this out. I can do it by myself." And I know from experience that if when I see Ooh. a homemade deed, I know there's at least a seventy-five percent chance that there was a mistake done on it. I think 90% 90%, okay. <laughs> so that sometimes when people are alive, people that did that deed, while they're alive, they realize that a mistake was made. And since they're alive, they have an opportunity to fix that mistake. I'm fixing one right now that mm -hmm. a gentleman did. He's alive. He's there to fix it. But if that person passes away with that mistake indeed, boy, now we got a real problem. Exactly. He's, he or she are not around to fix it. And now we've got a real problem with us through some kind of lawsuit to try and fix that bad deed. And that's why when people come to us and we review deeds, which we do every day, and we will explain to them on these homemade deeds right. that it would be our recommendation to redo it now while they're alive. And some people are reluctant or they don't end up doing it. And then they run into the problem when they pass away. Yeah. You know, the deed that I'm fixing from last week was a husband who a few years ago wanted to add his wife's name to the deed. Mm -hmm. So he does a homemade deed from husband to wife and records it. And he thinks, okay, now we own it 50-50. But in fact, he gave the whole thing to her. <laughs> <laughs> And so now we got to go fix it. But it, that's a perfect example.